Hey you guys. It's day 17. And I'm supposed to be talking about another topic, but country is horrible. We supposed to be so great. But we're not. These doctors, they don't even care about people anymore. I had insurance through my job, but since I got hurt, I no longer have insurance. And right now, right now, they are refusing to take these staples out of my side. Because I don't have insurance. I understand not doing the x-ray. But they can at least take the staples out of my side. But they won't do that. Because I don't have any insurance. And my daughter. She got fluid on her brain. And they won't help her. Because... We don't have any insurance. <laughs> this country is supposed to be so great. But they're willing to let people die over some insurance. <laughs> We're not great. We're not great at all. This country is disgusting. I wish I could go to like Canada or something like that. They actually care about their people. People don't have to worry about getting seen by the doctor. But I feel like this is just a way to kill us off. The people that they feel like is not contributing to the country, it's the way to kill us off. Make us sick and then make it so that we can't afford to go to the doctor to get better and then we just die. I just hate, I hate for people, somebody to, to feel like somebody had that much control over my life to, to say if I should live or die. This should be against the law. I suppose that Ben had these staples taken out of my side. But before, I had no way of getting down to Nashville to get them taken out. When I had still had my insurance, and I was trying to get the doctor to let me go somewhere closer to my home to get them taken out before I lost my insurance. But he refused and said no. Now I have no insurance and they still, and they're not gonna take them out. Now I have a way. And I still can't get these staples taken out because now I don't have no insurance.
I'm sorry, I'm still in my robe. But I was just about to get dressed to go down to the doctor to get these staples out when they called me and said that my insurance turned out and did I have any other insurance. And when I said no, they told me they wouldn't be able to see me. This is how black people and poor people are being treated in this so-called great country. They're just killing us off. Finding any way to kill us off. If it's not by police, it's by the doctors or our food. This country's supposed to be so great. But they find it every reason to kill us. I feel I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I've already been dealing with being sick for like a year and a half and getting to run around with the doctors. It's like they trying to prolong me being sick. I don't know if it's a way for them to just keep making money. But like I said before, I read online so many women had the same exact, same exact symptoms as me. And because they was white, the same day that they went inside the doctor, they did surgery to investigate, to see what was wrong with them. But me, I've been getting a run around for a year and a half. They just been trying to push pills off on me, do unnecessary tests. But every time I ask for them to do surgery or to put a camera in and look, they refuse. But if I was white, they would have been dead. People try to act like there's no such thing as racism. <laughs> and try to turn a blind eye to what is happening to black people. <laughs> but it's disgusting. We were the ones that were slaves for hundreds of years. But yet, we're still treated like criminals. We treated less than animals. It's 2019 and black people are still treated less than animals. An animal could get better care without insurance than a black person. If an animal died, people would mourn that animal. But if a black person get killed for no reason, they try to dig up reasons to justify why they was killed. How are we great? Because <laughs> from where I'm sitting, I don't see nothing great about this country. This country is only great for white people. If you're not white, 
or kissing ass. This country is not good for you. We need to change. And our people, we need to stop selling now. Because they're going to continue to treat us like this if we keep selling out. If we can't respect ourselves, they'll never respect us. They'll continue to keep treating us like this. No, I do not have anything against white people. I don't hate white people. But at the same time, I just want people to see how we are being treated and to see that it's not fair. We shouldn't be being treated like this. They starve us and then say we act like animals. We always showing compassion towards them, but they don't never show any towards us. We built this whole country and they tell us to go back to Africa when they the ones who brought us here. I'm sorry you guys, but I had to get that off my chest. I see why people don't trust doctors. Why they would rather just not know if something is wrong with them than to try and go to the doctor. Because if you black, they gonna try to kill you off anyways. They just gonna make some money while you die. That's all we good for here. Black people in America is only good for making white people money. They don't want us to make our own money. They don't even want us to be alive. If you feel offended for this video, maybe you should feel offended. Because you're part of, part of the problem. Because I'm sitting here trying to express and show how black people is being treated. And all you can think about is yourself. So if you feel offended, feel offended. I don't care. But how we are being treated is not fair. It's not fair at all. I'm sitting here with staples in my side. And the doctors won't even take them out because I don't have insurance. So now I got to figure out how to get these staples out of my side myself. It's already been a month. They were supposed to have been taken out like a month ago.
schon. Na schon. Und das haben wir die Status. Then I go take my staples out. And I gotta sit here and wonder how this fluid on my daughter's brain is gonna affect her. Cause they won't see her either because of this insurance thing. Can't believe how we sit here and pretend how this country is so great. When there's so many other countries that's way better than this country. I just... I don't know how to fix it. And I can't fix it alone. Other people gotta wanna fix it too. We can't just keep talking about it. We gotta put some type of action with it. Or nothing will ever get done. Nothing. I'll see y'all tomorrow.